Hey guys, it's Indicate here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take the normal fire staff and turn it into the ultimate fire staff. Now, it just makes it so much more epic, and you just need to do it. Okay, so once you get your hands on the fire staff, what you're going to have to do is you're going to go into the crazy place. Now, when you go to the crazy place, you've got certain challenges for each staff. Now, for this staff, I've got the fire staff. I'm going to go to the fire staff location. Now, in this location where there's fire going off and everything like this, you need to kill a certain amount of zombies for them to fill up, like, the obelisks behind you to set them on fire. You'll see them eventually like load up with fire inside them and once all four are done you'll hear Samantha say hey you've done it congratulations you are done move on to the next task. So as you can see I'm just still racking up the kills and I'm like right okay we've completed the challenge on to the next part. We then go into the church and when we get to the church we find these dots on the walls. Now these dots will give us numbers. Now it's really confusing as to what these numbers are but I'll do a guide now showing you Thanks to Mr. Ruffle Waffles, who showed me on his uh, epic paint skills that, as you can see, 11 the top in the far left, 5, 9, 7, and 6. Now, if you can't see it totally clear enough, then be sure to pause the video, and you can actually see that these symbols and circles mean what the numbers are that you need to light up on the torches. So once you've figured out what your numbers are, you need to go downstairs just below where the tank was and go towards the torches. You'll see the numbers written on the wall and you'll see the one with blood, like that's why we called it blood. And you need to light them up in the order from left to right. So once you do it from left to right, like mine was five, seven, three, blood. You'll see me light them up and once I do that, you hear the big uh, like noise announce that you've actually completed it and you can go up to the next step. The next step will require you to head back to the center just underneath the pack a punch area to align all these colors. Now what you need to do is get all of these to align up together to make the same red color now it's easy to do because every time you turn it it will like change the color so you see it's blue and then it changes to yellow i pull it again and it goes from yellow to red now you need to do this for every single one and once you've got them all aligned that's pretty much it done now there's i think i believe five of them and they're on totally different levels and you just have to run up and down the stairs to be able to try and find each switch to be able to activate it. but once you do it you'll see this red orb appear now once you've got this red orb if you fire it with your staff it will like start to glow charge up and it will fire straight up in the air which means the next step after that's ready now you're going to head back to the crazy place and put your staff in in your, you know, like corresponding color. So as mine was the fire staff, I'm going to put it in the fire like staff slot. I'm going to put it there, and then the next step for us to do is to kill a hell of a load of zombies in the madness that is the crazy place to charge up my staff to turn it into this new insane staff, which it makes it a lot more better, and you can actually do this solo as well, which is awesome. So once it's fully charged up, you want to just hold X, take it out, and there you go. You've got your crazy ultimate staff. I'm not even going to try pronouncing it, but it's nuts. So it can still fire as normal. I think it might be a little bit more powerful when it's pack a punch. But what its ability is to do now is if you hold down the right trigger, it holds it down and it takes up to six ammo and creates this lava pit. Now this can be used to take out like a full wave of zombies all at once, which is awesome. And you know, like they keep running to it and it just sets them on fire and it spews out magma. And even if some are running behind and you miss them hitting it, when they run on top of the spewing magma, it's going to just absolutely destroy them, which is amazing. It's so good. And this is probably like recommended to be one of the best staffs out of all of them. So I'm really happy about that. Also on the left D-pad, if you do click that, it will give you the ability to revive players now unfortunately it, people are thinking it's a bug right now but this staff doesn't allow you to like seem to pick up the you know players um, but it does actually in fact kill zombies so if you've got one zombie in your way and you know there's a max ammo and you're low on bullets or something like that you could just use that to attack the zombie and just kill him out, get him out your way that sort of thing but it's a cool staff I absolutely love it and the magma ability on it is just absolutely crazy you can actually see when I press select there that you could see like how we know we've got the uh, like ultimate staffs because it shows you like with the red around your actual staff that you've got and it's just really cool so guys I hope you've enjoyed this video and this tutorial. I want to thank Dave the Rave Waffles and the two other guys I was playing with today because they helped me like totally get to where we are now. Um, and it was just a fun, complete journey. I'm hopefully going to try and get guides out and teaching you guys how to do the rest of the staffs, but they did it from their perspectives. And hopefully I'll be able to go out through the next couple of days and do that for you guys. But I just wanted to show you and I will actually show you some gameplay of me using all four staffs at once, which is just, it's crazy because some do whirlwind, some do magma, you know, like electric traps and stuff like that. It's just really cool. And I'm really glad Treyarch has put so much into this map pack so guys thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video a like rating would be amazing be sure to subscribe for more zombie videos and i'll see you guys next time adios